Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna of Russia, 1786-1859. Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna of Russia, Russian, Maria Pavlovna, 16 February 1786, OS 5 February 23, June 1859, was the third daughter of Paul I of Russia and Sophie Dorothea of Wurtemberg. She was the Grand Duchess of Saxe-Weimar Eisenach by her marriage to Charles Frederick, Grand Duke of Saxe-Weimar Eisenach. Life Born on 16 February 1786 in St. Petersburg to Paul I of Russia and his wife Sophie Dorothea of Wurtemberg Maria Fedorovna, she was named after her mother and their third daughter and fifth child. Maria Pavlovna was raised at her father's palaces at Pavlovsk and at the nearby Gatchina. She was the sister of Thursdorov, Alexander I, Tsar of Russia, 1777-1825, M. Louise August, Princess of Baden, Elizabeth Alexeyevna, 1779-1826, and had two daughters, both died in childhood. Konstantin Pavlovich, Grand Duke of Russia, 1779-1831, married Julian, Princess of saxe coburg Solfeld and Afidorovna, 1781-1860, married Joanna, Countess Grudzinska, Princess Loix, 1799-1831. No children. Alexandra Pavlovna, 1783-1801-M. Joseph, Archduke of Austria, Count Palatine of Hungary, 1776-1847, and had one daughter died at birth. Elena Pavlovna, 1784-1803-M. Friedrich Ludwig, hereditary Grand Duke of Mecklenburg-Schwerin, 1778-1819, and had two children. Catherine Pavlovna, 1788-1819, married Georg, Duke of Oldenburg, 1784-1812, had two sons, married Wilhelm I, King of Wurtemberg, 1781-1864, and had two daughters. Olga Pavlovna, 22 July 1792, 26 January 1795. Anna Pavlovna, 1795-1865-M. Willem Roman II, King of the Netherlands, 1792-1849, and had five children. Nicholas I, Tsar of Russia, 1796-1855, M. 5, M. Charlotte, Princess of Prussia, Alexandra Fedorovna, 1798-1860, and had ten children. Michael Pavlovich, Grand Duke of Russia, 1798-1849, M. Charlotte, Princess of Wurtemberg, Elena Pavlovna, 1807-1873, and had five children. As a child, she was not considered pretty. Her features were disfigured as a result of a pioneering application of the smallpox vaccine. Her grandmother, Catherine Roman II of Russia, admired her precocious talent as a pianist but declared that she would have been better to have been born a boy. Her music instructor was Giuseppe Sarti, 1729-1802, an Italian composer and capelmaster at the Russian court. From 1798, she was taught music by Ludwig Wilhelm Tepper de Ferguson, 1768-1838. In 1796, her grandmother died, making her father the new emperor of Russia, as Paul I. Marriage. <laughs> marriage. Marriage. On 3 August 1804, she married Charles Frederick, Hereditary Grand Duke of Saxe Weimar, Eisenach, later Grand Duke, 2 February 1783, 8 July 1853. The couple stayed in St. Petersburg for nine months before departing for Weimar. There, Maria was greeted with a bout of festivities, as described by Christoph Martin Wieland, the most festive part of all the magnificence of balls, fireworks, promenades, comedies, illuminations, was the widespread and genuine joy at the arrival of our new princess. Children Maria and Karl had four children. Paul Alexander Karl Constantin Frederick August of Saxe Weimar Eisenach 25 September 1805 Weimar 10 April 1806 Weimar 
Marie Louise Alexandrine of Saxe Weimar Eisenach 1808-1877, married Karl of Prussia, of Prussia, of Prussia, of Prussia, of Prussia. Of Prussia. Augusta Louisa Catherine of Saxe Weimar Eisenach 1811-1890, married Wilhelm I and became German Empress. Karl Alexander August Johann of Saxe Weimar Eisenach 1818-1901. Her last trip to Russia was to the coronation of her nephew as Alexander Roman II of Russia in 1855. Patronage of Arts and Sciences Maria Pavlovna was interested in arts as well as in sciences. She was a patroness of art, science, and social welfare in the poor Grand Duchy of Saxe Weimar Eisenach. She maintained a lifelong correspondence with Vasily Zhukovsky and it was to her that Schiller dedicated one of his last poems. She attended ten courses at the University of Jena, some delivered by Alexander von Humboldt, and was instrumental in establishing the Falk Institute in Weimar. She selected, as tutor to her son Charles Alexander, the Genevan Frederick Sarit, who became well acquainted with Johann Wolfgang von Gogh. In her later years, Maria Pavlovna invited Franz Liszt to her court, restoring a measure of artistic excellence previously associated with Weimar. He was appointed Capelmaster Extraordinaire in 1842, and settled there from 1848 after giving up the concert platform until after her death. However, the Duchess's growing deafness prevented her from enjoying the premiere of Wagner's opera Lohengrin under Liszt's direction in Weimar on 28 August 1850. Most famous were the literary evenings, literaris and where scholars from the neighboring Gina University and others from outside the Grand Duchetum were invited to give lectures on various topics. This circle was a focus in post-classical Weimar. Several collections of the Gina University benefited by her patronage, among them the Grand Ducal Oriental Coin Cabinet founded in 1840 by Johann Gustav Stickel, Orientalist at the University. Schiller praised her talents in music and painting and genuine love of reading, while Gove hailed her as one of the worthiest women of his time. Her traces in Gina and Weimar She owned a small chalet close to Gina, owned formerly by the Protestant theologist of Enlightenment Griesbach, where she used to spend the summer with her children. Maria Pavlovna is buried in Weimar in a Russian-style chapel next to the Weimar Furstengruft. Archives Maria Pavlovna's letters to her grandfather, Frederick Roman II Eugene, Duke of Württemberg, together with letters from her siblings written between 1795 and 1797, are preserved in the State Archive of Stuttgart Hauptstadtsarchiv Stuttgart in Stuttgart, Germany. There are letters from Maria Pavlovna between 1800 and 1859 preserved in the Maria Paulona Letters Collection, in the Hoover Institution Archives, Stanford, California, USA. Ancestry